Hi, this is Crystal the Herbalist, and this is video 11 of 12 on how to win people to your way of thinking. It's based off of a book that I've been reading called How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. So this chapter is entitled Movies Do It, TV Does It, So Why Don't You Do It? Now, the story that, well, the first story I'm going to relate is about a girl or gal that was uh, trying to get an appointment to see her boss because she was having some problems and she wanted to talk with him about it. Now she had tried to, she came in on a Monday and uh, asked the secretary to see the boss, but apparently he was extremely busy and was not able to visit with him and that she, uh, she needed to keep going through the secretary to make this appointment. So it got all the way until Friday, uh, she tried getting with the secretary. The secretary kept saying he was too busy and, and was just not scheduling the appointment for her and she really wanted to see him before the weekend because she didn't want to carry these problems over to the next day or over the weekend. So she tried a different approach. What she decided to do is she was going to make a form, she made a form letter uh, addressing that she understood the that he was an extremely busy man but that she really wanted to talk to him before the weekend and so in this form letter she actually wrote it out she said please fill this out and it stated uh, Ms. Wolf dash I uh, will be able to see you on and she left that blank at blank a.m. p.m. I will give you blank minutes of my time she put it in an envelope with a self-addressed stomped envelope so that she'd be able to get an answer back and she put it in there Friday morning at 11 a.m. And then she decided to check her mailbox at 2, and he went ahead and told her that she would see her later that afternoon, and that he would give her 10 minutes of his time. So she went in, and he not only gave her 10 minutes, but a half hour passed by, and then it was like over an hour, and she was able to get her problems resolved. So this is, this is the day of drama, dramatization. Uh, merely stating the truth isn't enough, okay? So truth has to be made vivid, interesting, exciting, uh, dramatic. So you have to use showmanship. Movies do it, TV does it, and you'll want to do it too if you want to have attention. Now the last story that I'm going to relate is about a, a, a gentleman that was trying to uh, he was he was presenting a le lengthy market report and his firm had just finished an exhaustive study about a leading brand of cold cream. Now data was needed immediately about the competition in this market and the prospective customer was one of the biggest and most uh, formidable as they said men in the advertising business. Now at the first his first approach failed almost before he began. Uh, the time, the first time he went in, he said that, is that he found himself sidetracked into a futile dis uh, discussion of methods used in the investigation. And they kept arguing back and forth, back and forth, and nothing was getting resolved. And so the second time, he didn't bother with the tabulations, he didn't uh, worry about data, figures, any of that. What he did is that he dramatized his, his facts. He entered his office. He was busy on the phone, which he, when he finished his conversation, he opened a suitcase and just dumped out a bunch of sample cold creams all over his desk. There must have been at least 30 of them. And they're all products that he knew, all competitors of his cream. He said on each jar he had tagged, itemizing the results of the trade investigation. Each tag told its story briefly and dramatically. Well, what happened? There was no longer an argument. He was, it was something new, something different. He picked up the first one and then another of the jars of the cold cream and read the information on the tag. A friendly conversation developed. He asked additional questions. He was intensely interested. He had originally given me only 10 minutes to present my facts, but 10 minutes passed, 20 minutes passed, 40 minutes, at the end of an hour they were still talking. Now, he was still presenting the same facts as he had before, but this time he was using drama, dramatization, uh, dramatization, sorry, showmanship, and what a difference it made. So, 
Bottom line, dramatize your ideas. So I hope you got some value out of this and I hope that you'll be visiting my blogs or my Facebook, making comments, asking me questions, and I'll see you in the next video. Good help to you.